10 historical cities that have withstood more than just the test of time. Even historical locations that have been around for decades or even millennia are struggling to maintain their integrity in the 21st century. The following is a list of the 10 best ancient cities that may be visited. These are places that provide insights into the history of humanity as well as the inventiveness that individuals brought to the process of creating wonders without the use of computers or heavy machinery. Some are recognizable. Others may be reached with relative ease but have a lower profile. All make for exciting trip. One, Rome, located in Italy. When you visit a city that is as popular as Rome, you should be prepared for certain challenges such as the large crowds, the tacky souvenirs, and the young guys dressed as gladiators who are waiting to pose for selfies with tourists. Despite this, there aren't many other places like it. Consider the Colosseum, which is almost 2,000 years old but is located in the center of a contemporary city. During the time when there were actual gladiators, the emperor would lead a crowd of 50,000 people into the arena for violent battles to the death. The Colosseum was equipped with the very first retractable roof, which was a futuristic device known as a valerium. This device made use of sail technology to create canopies that protected audiences from the sun and rain. And we haven't even brought up the subject of the Vatican, the catacombs, or the Forum yet. Two, Istanbul, Turkey. Istanbul takes great pride in promoting the image of itself as the metropolis that straddles two continents. The way that the city traverses huge periods of history that pile up and fold over itself more organically than anywhere else in the world is what makes it one of the most remarkable cities in the world. Byzantium, Constantinople, and modern Turkey have all left their mark on Istanbul's skyline through their construction efforts, and the result is a cityscape that is instantly recognized despite incorporating characteristics from a variety of different eras. The Hippodrome Circus, which dates back to the time of the Byzantine Empire and is located in the historic district around the Hagia Sophia, is only a short distance away from the Top Kapi Palace, which is home to relics such as the staff that Moses used. Istanbul is one of the most significant cultural centers in the world since it is surrounded by a bustling modern city that is home to world-class culinary establishments, art galleries, and architectural landmarks. Three, Cairo, Egypt. It often comes as a surprise to first-time tourists how close the Great Sphinx and the Pyramids of Giza are located to the hustle and bustle of Cairo's city streets. Cairo is one of the world's largest cities, with a population of 22 million people, and it was constructed on the site of one of the earliest urban centers in human history. The tombs in Giza date back 4,500 years, and the Egyptian Museum of Antiquities has an incredible collection of artifacts from the people who first settled along the Nile. However, even the areas of Cairo that are considered to be slightly less ancient are packed with cultural treasures. More than a thousand years ago, the city that exists today was established. It is home to one of the world's oldest universities, a significant legacy of Islamic art, and Coptic treasures that are frequently neglected. Four, Kyoto, Japan. If Tokyo is the portion of Japan that is preoccupied with technology in the future, then Kyoto is the portion of Japan that engages in graceful tea rituals and the act of raking sand in Zen gardens. This is not totally accurate because Nintendo has its headquarters in Kyoto, which is a city that has a flourishing technology environment. Kyoto, having served as the capital of Imperial Japan for more than a thousand years, has likely discovered a method to reverently conserve its old customs while also joyfully embracing the new since this city has been at the center of Japan's history. 
The frantic speed of modern life is tempered by the presence of more than a thousand Buddhist temples and Shinto shrines. People from all over the world visit historical sites such as Nijo Castle, which dates back to the year 1603. Since most of the city was spared bombing during World War II, the majority of its buildings are still in use today. Five, Beijing, China. In the recent two decades, China has made significant investments in eye-popping modern architecture for its capital. However, with a history that extends back more than 3,000 years, the city has a profound history that provides a rich legacy of art, architecture, and education. It is possible to spend an entire week in Beijing without doing anything but touring the city's six UNESCO World Heritage Monuments, which include the Forbidden City and the Temple of Heaven. That would barely afford even a cursory peek at the riches contained within the city's legion of museums and galleries, much less the alleyways of the Hutongs, which are old neighborhoods that have been recreated and occasionally rebuilt as the hip core of Beijing's contemporary life. Six, the city of Athens, Greece. Athens can trace its history back 5,000 years, yet the modern city has found extraordinary ways to cohabit with the ancient landmarks that gave it its name. Below the Acropolis, the neighborhood streets wind through cafes and stores on their way to and from the Acropolis. Many are packed to the brim with tourist trinkets, but if there are enough art galleries and restaurants sprinkled in among them, even the most jaded traveler will find something to delight in. The majestic ruins of classical Greece have become the casual backdrops of Athenians' day-to-day -day lives thanks to the fact that a significant portion of the city's social life revolves around the monuments. Seven, Petra, Jordan. Around the year 300 BC, the rulers of the Nabataean kingdom staked their claim to cultural greatness by carving magnificent buildings into the red sandstone cliffs that are located between the Dead Sea and the Red Sea. This region has been inhabited by humans since the earliest days of our species history. The ancient city is encircled by gorges and canyons, which combined to form a labyrinth of passageways that assisted in keeping it hidden from Europeans for centuries. The fact that automobiles are not permitted within the historic city contributes to its air of mystery. Travelers who don't feel like walking can hire a camel, a donkey, or a carriage to move about the area instead. Eight, Xi'an, China. During the height of the Silk Road's popularity, Xi'an served as the starting point for travel westward. Xi'an served as the capital of numerous ancient Chinese dynasties for more than 1,000 years. The mausoleum of Emperor Qin Shi Huang is home to thousands of lifelike clay soldiers known as the Terracotta Warriors. This site is now most well known as the location of these warriors. Although they had been trapped underground for 2,000 years, each one is now standing and prepared for fight. In 1974, construction workers excavating a well came across one of the warriors, which led to the discovery of one of the most significant archaeological artifacts in history. The excavation is still going on, and more recent work has uncovered statues of dancers and acrobats, which provides a new perspective on the magnitude of Qin's goals and aspirations. Nine, Angkor Wat, Cambodia. The Khmer, with their extensive knowledge of the cosmos at the time, set out in the 12th century to reproduce a tiny version of the universe. The end result was the huge city of Angkor Wat, which was built to wow visitors with its perfectly constructed moats and towers as well as walls covered in breathtakingly intricate BAS reliefs of Hindu deities. The ancient Khmer had a broad perspective on what was worthy of being preserved. The majority of the murals depict scenes from heaven or sacred places, 
but others show more prosaic activities like as cooking dinner. Within the expansive Angkor Archaeological Park, which covers more than 150 square miles, the temple complex of Angkor Wat encompasses more than 500 acres of land. However, numerous lesser-known temples provide visitors with the opportunity to explore ancient Khmer capitals, which were constructed from the 9th century onwards. The major temple is visited by large groups of tourists every day. Ten, Ellora, India. Ellora is another ancient city that was hewn out of the mountains in the Maharashtra region, similar to Petra. On the other hand, most people aren't familiar with this monastic complex in India. The construction of the temples began in the 6th century and spanned a period of four centuries, commencing with the Jaina, Buddhist, and Hindu holy sites. The most magnificent one is referred to colloquially as Kailasa and has the boring official name of Cave 16. The entire temple was cut out of a gigantic rock face. The entrance, which consists of two stories, leads to a courtyard that is encircled by an arcade that consists of three stories and is lined with columns. The size of the structure is comparable to that of the Parthenon. Inside the structure were stone carvings depicting Hindu deities, and outside in the courtyard were two statues of elephants that were scaled to life-size. Thank you for being with us. Don't forget to subscribe.